everybody thanks for stopping back by wild bird creative i made a mistake this week and pulled out my scrap bins thinking i would organize them and maybe get rid of some of the pieces that have just been in there so long that i don't like them anymore or they're too small to use that did not happen instead i now have half emptied bins lying around but i did manage to clear enough of a space so that i can do a video and I have some of the scraps from those bins, and that's what we're going to work with. I mean, they're just a mix here of all sorts of things. A security envelope, a rusted piece of sheet music. This is one of the scraps that I'm talking about where I've thrown it into a box because I might use it someday. Today is that day. Some scraps from Dick Blick. They have scrap packs you can buy that are all these great papers. And they're just little snippets that are perfect. A stencil on deli paper, a piece from an old day planner, security envelope, and a in-memoriam page from an alumni magazine that I used my gel plate and just pulled a quick print off. So, here we go. This will be a 9 by 12 This is kind of a big size for me. Usually I like to work a little smaller, but today... I've got these great scraps, and I want to just use them up. So let's start. Let's start with this one. We'll get it stuck down. This will be my base piece. And again, just using a glue stick, just making it quick and easy. And this one happens to be repositionable. I'm not sure how much I like that. I like being able to move things around. But often I find the Elmer's just doesn't stick well enough until you put so much on. But it's what I have at hand. My glue sticks are on order. Because I'm running out. So I'll just put more on this it'll be fine this isn't headed for the Louvre I don't need it to be perfectly perfect now let's put down this again just a sheet of paper from a alumni magazine bit more along this edge. I didn't come out quite far enough. There we go. Just keep going along. And there is my base. Look at that three sheets and I've got the base down. You can already see that that is just not sticking. Ah, drives me nuts. You know what? I am going to put the cap on that and I'm going to use the last bit of my usual one that I know holds up. So here's the security envelope. Oh boy, is that low too. Oh wow. I am just not, not lucking out here today with my glues. Let's switch and let's just get a brush. And even though it's messier, we're going to use some matte gel medium. This I know will stick. Just means I have to remember to wash the brush. Okay, let's pop that down right there, roll it out, 
come along the edge here a little bit. There we go. So there's my main base. And I've just got some neutrals and then you can't even call it a pop of color, but this blue that I just think is great. And I'm going to start putting things on here and just seeing how they work. So this piece has some embossing to it. So I know it's going to be an interesting element, but maybe a little fussier to get down. So I'm going to press it really hard with the brayer. And then I've got this great piece that has a little bit of shimmer to it. It's also a little embossed, but not as much as the other piece. And there we go. I'm never good at using day planners, so I always have stuff left at the end of the year. And I hang on to them and they tear up great for use just in everyday creating. Let me lift this up and I'll tug this all the way down to the bottom here. Oops, that's okay. A little bit more on this end and just line it right up. It's delicate old paper. Okay, let me put a little more back behind here now. This is definitely not a no mess project. I'm gonna have very sticky fingers at the end. Now this day planner happened to be a Daphne's diary and she has beautiful artwork in her day planners. Okay, tap him down. Grab my little bit of deli paper. And deli paper can be a little fussy. Kind of like tissue paper. I think I'm going to tuck this behind. And then put that on top. And that way, I've got some nice layers building up. This guy does not want to stay down, my goodness. Okay, let me set that aside. I'm going to keep it in sight so that I remember to grab it and clean it. Get the top on here. And I'm going to use a Sean Petit Flower Silhouette Stencil. And I'm just to figure out where exactly I want it, how high up. It's nice because her stencils you can see through so you really know where you are placing it. And I'm going to use Hooker Green. And a makeup sponge. Might even scoot it over. I'm 
trying to see if I want it off the side there a little bit, and I think I do. And I'm not putting on a heavy, heavy coat. I have gotten a paint on there and then dabbed it off a little bit to the side. You can always add more. As you decide where you want things darker and lighter, but if you start with a nice light coat, you won't be disappointed. Not that you can't cover up a dark coat. You can. There we go. Bring it right down here. There we go. And what I'm going to do is then there's a little tiny one here that I might try to work in at an angle. Right like that. And the same thing. Starting light and going darker if I want. Got a nice viney effect there. I'm just breaking that space up a little bit. Set this aside. I'm going to let it dry for a second and then I'm going to come back and add a little bit of embellishment. Everything is dry enough to move on. I've got my, is this coffee or sepia? This is a sepia ink pad and I'm just using one of my favorite script stamps just to bring in just another layer of detail. on going around. And really, wherever it stamps, I'm fine with. This isn't meant to be exact. It's not even something that's legible. <clears throat> And I'm not even when I'm, I don't know if you can see how I'm just kind of pouncing it around. I'm not covering the whole thing in ink so that I'm getting a very random pattern when I put it down. And that's what I want. And that's what's great about this particular stamp is it's very flexible. I mean, you can take it off and put it on an acrylic block if you want very exact detail, but I don't. I just want to have some fun, add some detail. And the sepia is the perfect color for this because it is so muted. But let's see, I still think we need a little something else. And I'm thinking it means bringing out my art foamies and just kind of looking at what I've got that might fit the bill here. Got little spider web type patterns, faces, scribbles. I think I'm going to go with, oh, and I have my my X's. I think I'm going to go with an entirely different color. 
bring up two blues, Wedgwood and Peacock feathers. And let's start with the Wedgwood and just put some circles in. Just adding some interest in spots. And then let's bring in the X's and use the peacock feathers. And just come in Turn this a couple times so that it's not all the same angle and shape. There we go. I think I want to bring in just a green pencil. And you're not going to see these because it's still slightly damp, but I'm just adding some additional veining to some of these leaves, just scratching it into the damp surface. And how about I bring in, this is a jelly roll. I can't actually see if it says a color, but it says 38172. And all I'm going to do is just do a little area here and there of scribble writing. Just some additional fun detail for a pop of color. You can't go wrong with these pens. They flow nicely. They last a long time too, which is really great. Let's put one just along here. And I'll turn it again. And there we go. We are done. In spite of the gel or the glue stick disasters, we have a finished piece. Got lots of layers. I do have the brush, a couple stamps to clean up, and a stencil and a sponge. So moderate mess, I guess I would call this. Long video. Sorry for that. I usually try to make them quicker. But I hope you will use caution in digging through your your scrap bins so that you don't end up with tons of them everywhere. But pull out your supplies. Have some fun today. It's the end of September. Go outside, get some fresh air, look at the colors, and then come back in and get creative. You know, what have you got to lose? You're going to get fresh air, exercise, and make art. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Wild Bird Creative.